Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Google Bard with image input. All right, so from now on, you can also use Google Bard with image inputs. So upload images or photos from your local computer, whether it's PC or Mac, and then use those image inputs to prompt Google Bard and describe those images or write social media copy for the images or write Facebook ad copy for a specific image and so on and so forth. So if you want to use image inputs in Google Bard conversations, all you have to do is open up Google Bard, then click on this upload file icon here and select upload file. As you can see, you can upload JPEG, PNG and WebP images. So select the file from your computer, then wait a couple of seconds. And as you can see, the image is being uploaded right now. And it's been uploaded. As you can see, it's a palm in a sandy beach. So let's say we want to use this image in our Google Bar prompt. So let's say describe this image we have just uploaded and write some funny social media captions for it. So click on submit. And now let's see if Google Bard is able to describe this image and give us a description of this image. And based on that, give us some nice social media captions. Here is the Google bar response. The image shows a palm tree sitting on the top of a sandy beach. The palm tree is perfectly still as it's planted there on purpose. The beach is empty except for a few footprints in the sand. The sky is blue and cloudless. So as you can see, it is not perfect in this description because I cannot see any footprints here. And the sky is not cloudless. So as you can see, there are some clouds here. So as you can see, it's not 100% perfect, but if you want to just generate some social media captions for an image, it's still going to give you some good social media captions. If you want to get a 100% perfect description of an image, maybe Google Bard is not your best tool for that yet. ChatGPT can also use image inputs, so you can also try that, but for that you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription. But I have already done this, by the way. And in a previous attempt, it gave us a more accurate description of the image. So as you can see, these descriptions are more accurate. All right, but all in all, this is how you can use image inputs in your Google Bard conversations and use those image inputs in your Google Bard responses, prompts, and so on and so forth. If you want to learn more about Google Bard, ChatGPT, or other AI tools, make sure to check out my YouTube channel because I have a ton of tutorials on them and more tutorials are coming up. So also make sure to subscribe.